See, this junk is messed up. Man, this is why <sighs> cable installers, like you just cannot trust them to do anything, basically. Look at all this. This is all stuff they've left behind. They were definitely rooting around in here too because they had the panel off and the faceplate just sitting on the ground. There was like a smoked lizard in there. This was up there. I've been taking all this old riffraff off. But I just mean, just look at this. AT&T, what are you doing? That's a concrete screw. That's a concrete screw. Thanks, AT&T. You said, oh, this looks like crap. Let me just make it look like more crap. Look at this. Look at this. Spectrum, AT&T, Time Warner, garbage companies. Garbage companies that hire garbage people that do garbage work. I'm sorry, that seems harsh, but that's just... How do you look at any of this and just... Oh, it just not piss you off. I'm like, look at... They, hey! Kind of like you nope. You're fixing something, so finish whatever you do. No, no problem. That heap of junk cut off. What a big pile of crap. You can, you know, it's already starting to look a little better. Uh, yeah. And I already checked. No one's missing internet or anything, so... Kind of want to just take this box off, too. I don't want to be careful, though. I already unplugged this, and people still have internet, so... This might be my mom's old... Spectrum or something? Oh, yeah, look, there's the B right there. So... But it says A on the front. Of course it does, right? Of course it does. So, yeah. I think the trick at this point is going to be to just remove all the extraneous riffraff. Maybe this is from when my mom also had this. I don't know. But I mean, you know what I mean? It's not even... Like, look at this. This isn't keeping nothing out. Nothing. This is just garbage. Just difficult to remove. Garbage. This weather stripping was here, keeping all that water out. Stupid, honestly. Uh, okay, well now since this doesn't go on anything, I'm gonna remove this too, this grounding cable. Make sure I get the right one. Oh, and of course, of course it was this one. You know what's really funny? I moved this one. You know where this one was originally? It was right here, pinning the box closed. You can see where the, you know what I mean? <laughs> Quality, quality work right there. Let's take this off and see what it looks like once it looks cleaned up. All the BS we've accumulated so far, and as you can see, it's already starting to look a lot better. We pulled all these wires up on this side, took out all the loose hardware, like all the staples. I'm still gonna have to do something with this. Is it wrong of me to be really pissed off by this, by how awful this looks and how terrible this is? Would you want this on your house? Have you paid good money for professional installers to come and do this kind of work I mean, look at this look at this none of this is connected to anything I think I think maybe one of those is but like look at those wires going up there connects to nothing we pulled all the wires that were running along here because guess what all these all these cables I threw over the fence we're gonna go follow those all those cables you see right there nothing literally nothing do people just not take pride in any of their work anymore? Look at this too. Not just AT&T and, uh, and Spectrum. Look at this. People who install the solar panels. Concrete screws. Right here. It... Am I just being a baby about this? It looks a lot better already. Look at all this. Look at this Swiss cheese. It's just been a long line of guys that said, not my problem, not my job, and then continued to not even do their job. Oh, look at this trash. Yeah, real, real, real good job, Spectrum. Real good job, AT&T, taking advantage of my little old lady mother like this. They said, oh, she's not going to come back here and look at this. Look at this. I got fired from a job one time for putting a 7-8 size hole through the exterior on accident. But this, no, AT&T, Spectrum. The electrical installers, I'm not even sure who they are, but jeez, terrible. All right, well, let's keep going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull all this up next. Hmm, do you think they stabbed into the side of the house enough? Oh yeah, sick. That, 
I attached this with the leftover cable stays. This wasn't actually strapped to the side of the house, by the way. It was just zip tied to a bunch of these that were strapped. So let's do something cathartic. Let's, uh, let's give it a little haircut. Oh, uh, yeah. And then I'm just going to go into the attic. But Dan, what if you're cutting the, uh, the, the cable? They weren't connected to anything. Neither is that one. Nothing. I'm, I'm serious. I mean, look at this. Look at this. I, I don't even know if this one's really in use, but it's going down to the Spectrum box. And somebody still has Spectrum. I think my mom does. So I think that one's... We're going to leave that one. Oh, dear Lord. Look at all this. Just... Just a hot mess, really. Okay. Well, we're going to go... We're going to pull that one down, too, I think. A gorsh, a zip tie. Oh, my God. I'm completely locked out. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. Oh, maybe I am. Nope. That's it. That's it. I'm just going to stick this up in there because I don't have a little cover for this so that'll look decent and here's how it looks with all the riffraff pulled off still need to come back and do some siding work but as you can tell here's the real shocker this thing's actually level so I mean if they use the proper fasteners I would have been I mean the the solar guys would have been in the clear yeah, that looks so much better. Oh my gosh. It's still a rat's nest. It still needs paint and obviously, you know. But you can just see where all the junk I took off was. You know? Here it is. Let's go look at the master pile of garbage we took off of this thing. Well, here's our bundle of telecommunication scrap in all its glory. That is so much stuff. There was more stuff over here, go figure. So yeah, so that, that AT&T box over there, that one, nothing, goes to nothing. Followed the cables over here. Here's her new one. Here's her new one. Oh, don't worry. There were plenty of miscellaneous cables hanging out of this one. And Oh, but look, here's her new cable, the one that actually runs. Oh, at least they hung it. Oh, no. No, they didn't hang it. Don't worry, we're gonna take care of this porch too. Oh, sick! Sick! Wow. That's quality work, guys. You know it when you see it. Dear Lord, I don't know what's wrong with people. Look, if you don't wanna fix stuff, don't be a service guy. That's it. You don't like the heat, you don't like the sweat, you don't like to be dirty. I don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. But you can't keep doing this for people. This is bad. This is embarrassing. Not for me. But for y'all. Dang. Well, okay. Till next time, guys.